Welcome to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an array of points at a defined distance apart or within a defined boundary using QGIS. This video has a lot of information about point creations in QGIS, so you can do well to stick to the end and see if you learn one or two things new. So first, we'll be creating regular points, research tools. So you go to vector, go to research tools, go to regular points, and if your um, dialogue here has degrees rather than meters displayed here, then simply reproject your layers or change the coordinate reference system of your, of your layer. So if you are using the WGS84, instead of using the 4326, you can reproject to 3857 because it supports meters rather than degrees. I cover the concept of this idea in a separate video, which is in the description of this video. So do well to check it out. So um, first we need to create our regular points, research tools, regular points. To set our input extent, there are many options. If you have a single layer, which you want to use, if you want to create from a layout map or anything if you want to draw it on the map which i'll choose or you want to select the whole map canvas then you can do that as well so i want to draw it on the map so you double click and drag and draw your extent so when you're done drawing your extent you can set the spacing let's set it to 1000 meters so okay 1000 meters anyhow it comes out you set your CR, your coordinate reference. If you want to save the file, I don't need my file, so I'll leave it as a temporary file. But if you want to save it, you can click save to file and select the directory which you want and set a name for it. If you do not do that, you can also convert your file to a permanent file. When we are done with this, we run. So we now have regular points around the polygon. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to select the points only within the polygon. So next, we're going to create a grid. Let's turn off this layer. We'll go back to our vector, research tools, create a grid. We want points, yes. Again, we'll draw a map canvas. Your map canvas and then create it horizontal and vert um, vertical spacing. You can set it to 100. I think it's 100 we used before, right? 100. You leave the overlay, set your coordinate reference system, and also set your um, file to a permanent or temporary file and run close now we have a grid created around our layer now let's say we want to select the points only within the polygon go to your toolbar right click make sure under toolbars you have your selection toolbar selected checked if you do then search for this icon select features and click on the drop down select it features there are many ways to achieve the same result but i believe if you don't know the other you can find another way around it so let's select our feature we go to our land use this land use layer so we want to select features within this land use so on your layers panel click on the panel on the layer which you want to select your feature and then click on the feature. I believe you get that. So we can always click on other features. You can click on a number of features, just like that, as the case may be. You can hold down control and click on the next feature. And it works that way. So this is what we want to do for now. Now we can go to our vector, 
under research tools select by location the first um, layer which is land use fine okay no let's select it as our grid and the next layer land use yeah selected features only which features we want the features that intersect and then we want it to create a new selection fine and run once you're done with this i'm so sorry i had my qgis window on blue on minimize because of what i wanted to do earlier so we now have the points within the polygon selected right now go to your layer which is our grid layer right click and open attribute table open attribute table so we have all of the points in the attribute table here see the ones selected are highlighted let's click here to toggle editing mode it's now on editing mode so the points in blue are the points highlighted within the polygon here you can always invert selection meaning that it will now highlight the points outside the polygon and leave the ones inside we are doing this because it's easier to delete selected points and we want to leave the points inside the polygon so when we invert selection and then we delete and then every other point disappears so we can go on to perform our analysis with the points inside the polygon if we want to get the coordinates of all of these points it's very easy from here you can do well to check the description of this video as i covered it in a different concept so the last thing on the list for today is still under research tools you see a um, random points in polygon so let's say you want to get the random points you don't want it to be orderly like a grid or regular points so you select your input layer land use selected features only remember we still have our layer selected our polygon selected how many points do we want we want 20 points see mine is in degrees so that means i'll need to reproject this layer to a different coordinates reference system if i'm to work on a standard project here the reason for this is because now you see this point where it says minimum distance between points if i'm to set if i'm working on a project and i'm setting minimum distance of 100 meters apart and i set 100 here it's going to be 100 degrees and not 100 meters so you're working on a false you're working with false data but here i don't care so i won't be doing that you can do well to check it out so i'll leave this blank and then run close let's turn off this layer and we have 20 points selected within the polygon that will be it for today thank you for watching if you found out any other new things do well to drop a message drop a comment on the video check out other videos in the channel and i'll see you in the next video